This is lesson 10.6, secants, tangents, and angle measures. Your objectives are to find the measures of angles formed by lines intersecting on or inside a circle. Find measures of angles formed by lines intersecting outside of a circle. We are worried about angle and arc measures here in the circle. There's a new vocab word, secants. A secant is a line that intersects a circle twice. That's a secant. Compared to a tangent that intersects a circle just once. A tangent intersects a circle once, and a secant intersects it twice. When tangents and secants intersect a circle, they could either intersect inside the circle, on the circle, or outside of the circle. When they intersect inside the circle, the angle formed, to find it, you take the arc that that angle opens up to and the arc on the other side of the circle and take half of the sum of those arcs. The angle is half of the sum of the arcs. If the intersection is on the circle, the angle formed is half of the one arc that that angle opens up to. When the intersection is on the circle, it's half of the one arc that it opens up to. And when the angle is or the intersection is outside the circle, then the angle formed is half of the difference of the arcs that it opens up to. Take the big one, subtract the little one, and take half of that. Inside, the angle is half the sum of the arcs. On, the angle is half of the one arc. And outside, the angle is half the difference of the arcs. Remember, for difference, do the larger one minus the smaller one. Find each measure. Assume that any segments that appear to be tangent are tangent. The measure of angle 1. On this problem, I have the intersection inside the circle. So I can find the measure of each of these angles, and those would be half the sum of those arcs. Once I do that, I can find the measure of angle 1 by using linear pairs. Remember, the angle you find is the angle that opens up to the arcs that you know. So. The arcs are 56 and 146, so my angle measure will be half of the sum The sum is 202, so that angle measure will be 101. So this angle measures 101 degrees. The measure of angle 1 and that angle form a straight line, so they are supplementary. 101 plus 79 makes 180. So the measure of angle 1 is 79. Remember, when the intersection is inside the circle, the angle you can find is half of the sum of the arcs. On question two, the angle is formed by the intersection on the circle. So the angle is going to be half of the arc that that angle opens up to, which is this arc, which I don't know. But I do know this arc, 134. Don't just use 134. That's not the one we need. We need the blue part because that's the arc that the angle opens up to. The full circle of degrees is 360. 
which means the missing piece there, when you subtract 134, is 226 degrees. The red arc plus the blue arc make a full circle. 226 degrees plus 134 is 360. So I can now say that the measure of angle 2 is half of that one arc, and that one arc is 226. So the measure of angle 2 is 113 degrees. Be careful to not jump the gun and just use the numbers you see because those aren't always the numbers you need. Make sure you use the numbers that you need. The angle opens up to the arc it needs. If you don't know that number, find that number in some other way. Maybe through linear pairs, maybe through the 360 degrees in a circle. Always use what fits. On number three, we have another intersection on the circle. The angle is half of the arc. And the arc I need is this one. Well, I don't know that one, but I know the one on the other side. And that full circle is 360 degrees again. 216 plus what gives you 360 degrees for the full circle? And that number is 144 degrees. So the measure of angle 3 is half of 144 degrees. Again, make sure you are using the correct number. Don't use half of 216. 216 isn't the number I want. I need the arc that the angle opens up to. On number four, the intersection is outside. For that formula, the angle is half of the difference of the arcs. And those arcs need to be the arcs that the angle opens up to. And I know those numbers. So I can go ahead and find it. The measure of angle R is half of the difference. Do the greater one minus the lesser one. Half of 101 minus 39, which will be half of 62, which is 31 degrees. When the intersection is outside the circle, the angle is half the difference. On this one, I'm looking for the measure of arc GJ, which is right there. The intersection is outside the circle, so the angle is half of the difference. Well, this time I'm looking for the arc, not the angle. But I know the angle, so I'll just substitute in my pieces. The angle is 15 degrees. Half of the difference, the bigger one will be 59, and the smaller one is arc GJ. And I'll just solve for the measure of arc GJ. If I'm taking half of the right, I can double both sides to undo that half. Multiply both sides by 2, so 15 becomes 30. Two times half cancels out. That's what we wanted. And now we just have 59 minus the measure of arc GJ. Fifty-nine minus what is thirty? Well, fifty-nine minus twenty-nine is thirty. Doing some mental math there. So my missing arc is twenty-nine degrees. When the intersection is outside, the angle measure is half the difference of the arcs. On this one, 
the intersection is outside the circle again, so the angle is half the difference of the arcs. I'm looking for the measure of angle R. It opens up to the 62 degree arc and this unknown arc. Well, again, the arcs all the way around add up to 360. So 62 plus 116 plus what? gives you 360 and that is going to be 182 degrees remember to find that just subtract the two you know from 360 the angle is half the difference of the arcs the angle is the measure of angle r the difference would be 182 minus 62 182 minus 62 is 120, and half of that is 60 degrees. Make sure you find the piece you're missing if you don't know one of the pieces you need, and then just substitute everything into the formula. On number 7, the intersection is outside, so the angle is half the difference of the arcs, and I know both of those. Measure of angle Y is half the difference. That'll be 105 minus 63. Half of that is going to be 21 degrees. When the intersection is outside, the angle measure is half the difference of the arcs. On number 8, you're looking for the measure of arc CE. And the intersection is outside the circle. So the angle is half of the difference. I know the angle, but I don't know either of the arcs. But what I do know is that the arcs together form the full circle. So I know that those arcs add up to 360. So if I can call the measure of arc CE X, I know they both add up to 360. So the other one would have to be 360 minus X. When you don't know either arc, make one of them x and the other one 360 minus x because together they form the full circle. So the angle substituting in is 52 and that equals half of the difference. The first one is 360 minus x and then from that you will subtract the smaller one which is x. That's 52 and half of 360 minus 2x, because negative x minus x is 2x. Distribute the half. 52 equals 180 minus x, because half of 360 is 180 and half of 2x is x. 180 minus what? is 52. Do some mental math there. And you get 128. So the measure of arc CE is 128 degrees. Remember though, when you don't know either arc and they together form the full circle, make one of them X and the other one 360 minus X. On question 9, we're looking for the measure of arc YAB, which is this one. The intersection is outside the circle, so the angle is half of the difference. We know the angle this time, and just like on question 8, we don't know either of the arcs. So for the one we're looking for, we'll call that X, and the one that's on the other side, remember together they make 360 degrees. 
So we'll call this one 360 minus x. Remember when you don't know either one, one of them is x, and one of them is the total minus x, because the full circle is 360 degrees. So substitute into the formula. The angle is 37 equals half of the, dis the difference. The big one is x. The smaller one is 360 minus x. Make sure you put that in parentheses because you're subtracting the quantity. Simplify that a little bit. When you distribute, the 360 becomes negative and the x becomes positive. So what I really have here, if I combine like terms, that'll be x plus x to make 2x and a negative 360. Then when I distribute the half, I move over here, half of 2x is x, half of 360 is 180. Add 180 to both sides, and x is 217. So the measure of arc YAB is 217. Remember when you don't know either of the arcs, the full circle of them is 360, so one of them is x, and the other is 360 minus x. And remember when the intersection is outside, the angle is half of the difference. When the intersection is on, the angle is half of the arc. And when the intersection is inside, the angle is half of the sum of the arcs.